What's up YouTube, this is Jermaine, and I wanted to take a moment to share with you a little bit of information about my, my paper roller I have here. Now this is um, the Photodeox single roller. Uh, they call it single roller drive set. Now I've got it on Amazon. I think I paid like $24 for it. Now it's already down to $22.95. So I was gonna get the three roller, but I kind of didn't know how this was all gonna work out. Now, when I was doing research on how all this was gonna work, I found out that Savage Paper was one of the best places, uh, one of the best manufacturers to get your paper from. I actually did order this on Amazon as well, and it came in this big box, and uh, it was undamaged and everything was good. Now, the issue is, if you see this piece of uh, kind of cardboard tube, the paper come wrapped around that. Now this roller set comes with these little ends that you you put inside, it's this part here. You put that inside here and turn it and it gets wide and it holds it. And with that, you can roll your paper up and down. So I'm thinking, hey, this is great. I'll buy this stuff and put it up and it'll be awesome. Problem is, this will sag over time, like within a few weeks, actually. Once it sags, it will wrinkle your paper. So as you're rolling out your paper, no matter how far you roll it out, all of it will be wrinkled, effectively, basically ruining your paper. You might be able to go ahead and take the pictures anyway and maybe try to Photoshop it out, but you're just talking about a big headache for no reason. So I thought to myself, so what are people doing? So they actually recommend taking it down every time. And I thought, well, that doesn't make any sense. It would be easier to just use a, a backdrop stand if you're gonna take it down every time. They sell a metal pole for like $45 that can go inside of this tube and give it the rigidity and make it everything nice and rigid so it won't bend. Problem is, it's like $45, that's crazy for a piece of metal Aluminum metal tube, basically. So, I went to Home Depot. I first looked at um, fence post stands. Those seemed to just be too heavy and they wasn't long enough. I needed something to be 10 feet long because this is 107 inch paper, which is just under nine feet. So I needed a 10 foot pole. So I ended up looking at some um, PVC piping it just didn't seem to be rigid enough. So I ended up landing on two inch uh, metal aluminum conduit. Now I started with an inch and a half and I thought it was gonna be big enough, but these little expanding deals wouldn't fit inside. So I had to take it back and I got two inch. So once I got two inch, I couldn't fit the two inch inside of here. So what I ended up having to do, I actually uh, taped it I taped the end of the paper to the pole and then I rolled up the entire length of the paper on the pole. So that's why you see this, this cardboard tube here and I'm just kind of using it to help allow the paper to go down and not want to roll back up to the ceiling as I'm unrolling it. So what I did was uh, try to find a straight line. It's a line of text across this pole and I just used like packing tape and I tried to line it right at the bottom of that tape, of that text, and I taped it all on. And once I got it taped on, I rolled, the, I rolled it up. It's like 12 yards. All right, so now, oh yeah, and the way I mounted it, on this side, I've got it right into some studs. So we're perfectly good there. But on this other side, on this other side, there was no studs right at that 10 foot mark. So I found these very, these large wall anchors. They supposed to hold about 15 pounds a piece. And so I put two of those over there. I am a little bit concerned about that side, but so far so good. So over here where I'm doing all the pulling and stuff, we're nice and strong, I've got Let's see, I don't see any bolts, but I have like three or two and a half inch lag bolts going directly into the stud over there. And over here, of course, I got these. 
So now that I've kind of proved out the concept, so let me show you. And of course, this will go on the floor and all the way out as far as I need it. Right now I have a 10 to 18 lens on the uh, camera, so it may look like this isn't very wide, but this is 107 inches wide. So it's, just, it's pretty wide. So most of the time, if I'm trying to take some pictures or something down here, this is gonna be plenty, plenty wide enough to do what I need to do. Uh, a lot of people use 53 inches and they get away with that. So this is like twice the width of the 53 inches. So, so that's down. Obviously that's gonna be nice and easy. So back up. All right. So it's nice and out the way. So like I said, um, I was thinking about buying the three part that allowed you to do three rows and I didn't do it. Partially because I wanted to prove this concept out. I didn't know that the two inch was gonna work. I didn't know I was gonna have to tape it to the metal pole itself. I didn't even know if it's gonna roll up straight. But now that I do know that, yeah, I spent $24, but I, I should be able to uh, reuse these as spare parts. So I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade and get the, th the three roller set and uh, two more poles. And that way I can get a, a white, uh, I already have white paper, obviously. I'm gonna do black paper. And then also I have a vinyl green for a chroma key. Um, and if the vinyl don't work, I might just have to get green paper. And I'll probably do that in 53 inches or something. So I'll probably do um, black also on a 107, probably do uh, the green screen in 53 inches. But that's pretty much it guys. I mean, like I said, uh, Buying this just kind of helps me to have some spare parts. It proved out my concept. It seemed to work just fine. This piece of uh, this two inch conduit, it did seem kind of heavy, but it's been there about a week now. And I mean, I had no issues. It doesn't seem to be dipping at all. And you are gonna wanna make sure you, you mount this level. Now I did use a level when I did it. It'll be very helpful if you had a friend that can help you get this all level when you're uh, putting in your screws and whatnot. But that's about it. I don't want to ramble too long, but there's the paper roller. I might update if I go with the three roller set, but there you go.